This is I'll guts. It's not happening to me. I'm paying that $250 an hour to fuck my wife in my own bed? Hey, you! Stop it! What's up, man? Get out of my way. Michael, calm down. What the fuck is going on? Nothing happened. It was a misunderstanding. She fucked a prick in my bed. <laughs> you bullshitting me. It wasn't like that. You in? Fuck it. I'm in. Let's roll. Let's get this motherfucker. Just don't kill him! Yes, I definitely will. Can't lock me out of my car. Dang, they you okay, they homie? What happened? The guy bounced my wife is what happened. Which guy? The guy I'm paying to teach her tennis. Tennis coat? Mm. Oh, that's fucked up, man. Who is dude? Dudes, homie. You know, back in the hood, man, we gotta watch out for the mailman, dog. Yeah, I'm a cuckold, a snob, and a fucking cliche. That's his car, right there. Little prick's up there, look. Oh, shit, Coach doing all right for himself. Hey, asshole! You ran off before we could settle our debt! Michael, fine! You got the wrong idea! There's a winch in the back of the truck. Tied a cable to one of those supports up there. You finna pull his deck down? Hey, that prick pulled my marriage down. Man, you really gonna be this fucking dramatic? Yeah, whatever. I told you I comp the session, bud. Well, there were a lot of freaking sessions, bud. I'm thinking you were working on more than just her backhand. Mandy's backhand has come a long way, bro. But sometimes it's gotta get worse to get better. Yeah, well, maybe I should come up there and practice my backhand on your face. Oh, bud, your negative energy is seriously bringing me down. Oh, I hope it is, bud. We hooked up, man. You come into my house, take my money, and nail my wife? Are you fucking kidding me? I'm going to stick up my hand and say that was uncool, bud. My bad. Seriously. Oh, she called the cops. How fucking magnanimous. <clears throat> May I please offer you my applause? You fucking motherfucker! Dude! And we'll see how you like it when someone fucks with your shit! Well, oh, hey! Wait! You got the wrong idea, pal! Whoa! Fuck! Here we go! Ha <laughs> ha! Let's see what happens! Dude, you are probably crazy! <laughs> oh, shit! You see this shit, dog? Boom! Give it some! Trying to pull that dude house off the fucking hill? Hey, we were trying to teach him a fucking lesson. Now that's an expensive bitch ass lesson, man. Maybe he'll keep it on the court and out of my wife. Mr. DeSanta, what the hell? That's not my house! Bullshit. Oh, bro, I couldn't afford a place like that. I'm a tennis coach, I hit balls for a living. I was just hiding there. Lady, just fucking terrified. <sighs> green light, green light, not Madrazo. Fuck you. Whoa, on Martin, Martin Madrazo. <sighs> Finally, look at the view. That's what she said. Damn, dude's a kingpin, homie. Look at this. And you better hope. I ain't hoping anything. Chick was hysterical. Chill out. Can I drop? Ah! No. Green light, green light, not madrazo. Shit, we got some heavies on us, homie. Are you kidding me? Get you do. I got better stuff. What's the Franklin? I don't have anything. Oh, now I can switch. You got a pick. Oh, Jesus. I got one. There you go. Oh, 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 Oh,
over. Get up, Frank. Hey, fuck off. Oh, yeah, my nigga, that's it. Ooh, look at this oh, car. Jesus. Let's go back home. Wow. Shit. Ah. You did good. I mean, your aim's all over the place, but you were a help. Ah, uh -huh, thanks. I guess. Hey, don't get defensive. Go to a shooting range. Work on your aim. You'll do fine. Oh, fuck, man. Shit, you good? Fine as wine. Got a few knocks. You okay? I mean, you did good, kid. Man, I'm cool, man. I mean, you. Mentally. Whew. Hey, thanks for the help out there today, kid. I had no idea it was gonna get that hot. Shit, pulling houses off the hillside? Sure has a weird way of fucking with people. Yeah, well, I thought I was through with all that shit. I don't know what the hell's going on. Oh, shit. I think we're about to find out. You know who I am? Do you know who I am? Do you? No. Who are you? You? I think so. Good. I know who you are. I know where you live. Who are you? I'm Franklin. License. Why would you tell him? Why would you tell him, bro? This guy's no. like Rico from Frank. Just Cause. Maybe help Mr. DeSanta here. Who am I? I think Martin Madrazo. Good boy. Now, maybe give him a little of a background. Man, Mr. Madrazo... It, Mr. Madrazo is a legitimate businessman who was wrongfully accused of running a Mexican-American gang and a narcotic ring, but the charges <laughs> were dropped because of the witnesses came up missing. Smart kid. Now, Michael, I've got a question for you. Did you pull an architectural, significant, modernist, wonder home down the hillside in Vinewood Hills? I thought the owner was banging my wife. Well, that was a strange house for a tennis coach. <sighs> I wasn't thinking straight. Mm, clearly. Yeah. <sighs> well, Natalia will need a hotel while you finance the reveals, won't she? Sure. Good. And I'm guessing here that the rebuild uh, will be somewhere in the 2.5 million range. <laughs> of course. Great. That's nice. Come on, man. Damn, you I? Never better. So what now? Looks like I'm gonna have to postpone my retirement. Fuck. Ah, oh, man, I'm mortgaged up to my eyeballs. Look, I only know one way to make money. I'm gonna have to give an old friend a call. Lester. I think he's in town somewhere. I'm gonna have to track him down. Just give me a little alone time, all right? All right, dog. Hello. Is this still the number for Lester Crest? Who's asking? Who's asking? Who's asking? You're awful cagey. <laughs> <clears throat> Even for a dead man, Michael. Ooh, you don't sound good, buddy. <laughs> Tactful and charming, even in death. Hey, come see me, old friend. I'm living in Los Santos, just like you. Marietta Heights. Whoa, whoa, wait. Hey, how do you... Hello? You fucker. Doc, hey. Michael, well, I'm looking through my appointment book and I don't see your name. Yeah, well, I'm more of a walk-in guy, Doc. You know that. Walk-ins are more expensive, but I'm always happy to accommodate. Sure, you'll accommodate me as long as I got money in my pocket, right? Hey, I'm in a bad way, Doc. I might come by soon.
Fuck you, Lester. You gonna let me in or what? Give me a minute. I was wondering when you'd show up. I was dead. Praise be. Guess you weren't very dead. You need my help. How do you know? Because you came here. Why else would you? <clears throat> I haven't been a good friend for you, Lester. I know that. And you're gonna make it up to me by doing whatever I ask. Or rather, I, I mean, I need something done, you need to know something, so why not help each other? I gotta make some dough. So you're back in the game? I guess. Look, Lester, about what happened before. I know you never mentioned my name. I know I'm not on any lists anywhere. I know you never betrayed me. As for you, you gotta figure that I never told anyone. That instead of gently decomposing in North Yankton, you're angry decomposing like in Los Santos with a shrink and, sitting all the time. and a wife who don't love you no more. Yeah. yeah well, <laughs> since you put it like that. Hey, shut up a minute. I'm getting an eye find alert. That little college boy sack of shit, phony fuck. Who? Jay Norris? Yes. That fuck is a lying bastard. I've read his fucking emails. He's a fucking cheat. I heard him say that he saved America. What, by what? outsourcing all the jobs? By selling us little bits of plastic restricted access shit? Well, now it's payback time, you lying turd. What the hell are you talking about? You are about to get that white-collar gig that you always dreamed of, Mikey. Here, take this uh, fashionably retro weird for a 45-year-old man, but I cannot let go of the 1980s bag, and dress yourself up like a billionaire math genius with low-level Asperger's. You better be ready for the minor glitch of your repulsive pseudo-messianic life. Okay, Lester. Get out of here! Call me when you're ready. We are about to put the Darwinism back on social Darwinism. And brother, it is gonna be fun. You fucking kidding me? I'm a bank robber, not a web designer. So we'll go robbing soon. I'll find something. Just like the old days. <coughs> Please excuse me. I've got something shameful to do. Oh my goodness, he did not need to tell me that. Where my bike at? Yes, sir. Look at me, where I got my backpack and my bike? This is better than if I got in that car. I can always find it on the map. Map. Can't find this thing until I put it in my garage. I might let Mikey out of this or Franklin. Franklin is more of the motorcycle type, you know. <sighs> ah, excuse me. I got this interview at this tech company. I'm thinking I need something, I don't know, geeky. Youthful. Lost your job and the world's moved on, huh? That's too bad. I didn't lose my job. Of course. Got too old, got outsourced. Same thing happened to my dad. Now you gotta fit in with a different generation. Huh? What about a vest and some cargo shorts? All right. Talking eye of trash. Yup, that's his youth. Yeah, for 2013. <laughs> Get out of my face with that. Shorts, like what? Just don't even look right. Dignity aside, I think that might just work. Good luck at the interview. Goodbye. Yeah, keep talking, you're stuff. Maybe if I change my shirt, I'll be good. Oh, I can't. There's a mission. Not too bad. Hey. Hey. Oh, it's great. 
Ugh, PM's pushing for more functionality. <laughs> but we are maxed. I mean, if anything, we have to strip features, especially if we plan on releasing a fully yeah. priced update a year later. Oh, my. You know, it's... Yeah, well, you know, you gotta do what you gotta do, you know? I mean, we're talking beta in Q4, maybe Q3. Look, milestones are one thing, but when design is changing its mind yeah. seemingly overnight, there's not much you can do about it. You Look, know what I'm saying? Uh, my union allocated smoke bricks bowed up, so... Wait a minute. Do I know you... Yeah, I think so. I, I, I T-temp, right? Yeah. You know, you gotta do something for me. Ah, uh, you gotta put it in a ticket. Ah, uh, no. I'd like to keep this one out of the database, if you know what I mean. I'm turning consultant when we release. Consulting consulters. You know, a consultancy, consultancy, consultancy. I'm kind of big on the conference tour already. Oh, hi. Chill out on the beanbag. Marcus will be right out. Oh, um, I'm gonna take a normal chair. I have a terrible back. This reminds me of GTA 4. A little computer. Here you go. If you guys let me use the OS I requested, this wouldn't be a problem. Ah, well, you've been added on this PC. Ah. Uh... Got any antivirus software? I think so. Behind this junk on the left. Clicked an NSFW link, bro. Bit me on the ass. Yeah, not safe for work, huh? You know, my son's computer runs into the same kind of problems. This is realistic, I'll close bro. close the pop-ups. See what I can do. You get viruses. Stop codes? watching porn, bro. Start them early, bro. You write your best stuff in your tweens. After that, it's just a hack job. Rocking out might get you in the right headspace. See, I don't have the manual on me. You want to take a break for some air guitar? Give me the wink, bro. Bear with me, all right? Wow. Your job is actually kind of stressful, too, ain't it? Give me a second, will you? My glitch fixing is gonna be way down today. <laughs> and now we scam. There it goes. Ah, oh, I need to write some product, Brohim. I'm feeling the itch. They gotta send me on another one of those seminars. And that should do it. Why don't you try and keep things strictly that safe for life. work from now on? Hey, have you seen the prototype in the demo room? When Norris announces it at the keynote, minds are gonna blow. Yes, they are. Send me the Oh yeah, I remember this. Okay, why leave the backpack? What? Your fingerprint. Dude, when it blue screens again, you're my guy. Bye. I don't know what those explosion sounds are. Sheesh. Sit, 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 sit. Going on Look back, dig fast. Ow. Ow. Come on, you're gonna have to learn the foot bag if you want to get a job here, okay? Follow me. Okay. Oh, yeah, these cheesy Some geeks. Some a-hole drank my effing hemp milk! There was a totally non-passive aggressive note on it! If I drown in mucus, it's your fault, you illiterate effing seas! Hey, what the fuck, man? <laughs> Why do you talk like that? Wrong entrance. No, I get my bike. He spot on with the sandals if he had had. Hey, Michael, hold on, hold on. Domed, I domed ya. Lester, 
The thing's in the prototype. I'm going home to watch the keynote. Teabag time, my friend! Lester, did you hear me? Are you playing that game? Yeah, yeah, sorry. The phone is rigged. Now, what's your problem? You don't like shooters? They're all the same. Besides, you know me. I'm a movie guy. Classic Vinewood. Classic Vinewood ended 30 years ago. Now it's just superheroes, romantic comedies, and remakes, none of which interest me. Hey, I believe this country can still make interesting movies. There's no better way to define American life than a two-hour plot in which the hero and defeats evil. Now, whatever you say, enjoy yesterday. Anyway, just call the device after he's unveiled it, and then we'll talk. She lucky she didn't see you. Recorded live from though. the Vinewood Bowl. Who will win it all? Who will humiliate themselves in front of the world? Find out tonight on Fame or Shame, the finals. Now, please welcome your host. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Mr. Jay Norris to the stage. Hey. This company has come a long way since we started it in my parents' pool house in East Carraway. Today, you're about to witness a new phase. Full-on, weapons-grade, red alert, world domination. I wonder if there's a parody on Apple. We have put a billion people's private data in the public domain, and we have milked every penny we could in the process. <coughs> We're talking about Google, huh? <laughs> we have one of the youngest workforces in the world. An average age of only 14 points. It's not just impressive, it's revolutionary! Child labor? Like, what are you talking about, bro? Today, just pull the phone right out. Here, we are about to make the next step. Prepare to witness the future. The Life Invader mobile device. Yes, we've invented something no one else has ever thought of. A small, personal, computer... Oh, hold on a second. I think someone's trying to talk with me. Oh, oh did you do that? Oh, security. Oh, 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 Jesus! Whoa! No, 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 no. Whoa! Violence is when um, more combat a nine came out, and then there's this. I remember. <laughs> Last that was heavy. You watching the news? I don't have to, I'm watching the markets. I'll be trading pure alpha till close. All right, hey, about that other thing. You know the score. Oh, yeah, yeah, absolutely. Let's do it. Put on a suit, look somewhat professional, and meet me at my warehouse off the LS freeway. Oh, uh, and I'm about to email you a link for the exchange. You can put in some trades of your own. Uh, I'm trying to stay off the day trading. Uh, but maybe I'll take... You don't have to call to tell me that. Not you, the Dieter Sack store detective. There's been a misunderstanding. I need you to help clear it up. Oh, now you want me. All right, I'm coming. The one Are you kidding me? They always pull off in front of me. Nine mil. Sweet. He's got okay. my car! Hit the gas! Let's go! The cops are still after us! No worry. I know what I'm doing. I'm like you. Come on, come on! Come on! I'm on top of it. Help me! 
She's not like me, she don't know how to get traced with it. What did I jail? Do? Where are you going? I mean, um, who are you my bike? to judge me? Oh, I'm not judging? No, not at all. You're loving this, aren't you? Oh, yeah. Risking prison, getting shot at, love, love, big love. Give it up. You pissed our savings down the toilet. Really? Our savings? Yeah, our savings. I gave up everything to start this life with you, you selfish shit. Yeah, <laughs> okay, all right, whatever. Our savings. It's just, look, you can't look at the day-by-day -day figures. You gotta look at the overall, the, you know, the net figure. I've seen the net. It's a fucking disgrace. Hey, I'm bringing it around. Sure you are. Just please give me some warning before they repossess. It ain't that bad. Couple of weeks. A day even. I don't want to be there. Honey, we're fine. Sure. Thanks, Michael. I'm not dead and I'm not in prison. So thanks. Ungrateful bitch. Anyways. Bro's eating polygons. You love what I represent. You love being the. Dude, do you even have a penis? Or are you one of those hermaphrodites born without genitals? Tricks up my sleeves, huh? Same. I'm just a nightclub singer with a broken heart. I still love you. Why didn't he just shut his door? They're in over your head and you're up there. Damn. Jimmy! God damn it. The fuck you doing? Nothing. Really? I keep hearing a math for like this, a cop that. Go away. What? You know, go watch your linear entertainment. Go watch porn. Just go away. Shit. Fuck you. What the fuck? Disrespectful little asshole. I can't believe you did that. That's my TV. You don't talk to me like that. I can't believe you. Mom was right about you. You don't know any better and you can't help it, but you're an asshole. Yeah, well, why don't you do something then? Besides just stand there. Why don't you hit me? Is that what you want, to be hit by your son? Yeah. No. I just want you to do something. Besides, sit there, eating. Yeah, great. Thanks for the fucking guidance, Dad. It means a lot. Wait. I'm just trying to help you. Yeah, well, nothing says I love you like smashing my fucking TV. Nothing at all. Is he crying over his TV, bro? I'm sorry. I just wish we could do things together. Yeah, what things? I don't know. Uh, go for walks. Play ball. You know I have bad glands. Yeah. Bike ride, then. Bike ride. You want to go on a fucking bike ride? Fine, fine. Let's go on a fucking bike ride. He'll probably just buy you a new TV, chill. A bike ride along Vespucci Beach? Okay, Dad, I got just a thing to show you. Oh, I love this mission, it's classic. This day was going so well until you showed up, you know that? Ugh! Yeah, well, you're oh, lucky you need to be allowed out of the right. house after that boat stunt. What's the big deal? If anything goes wrong, you can just fake your death and start all over. Oh, he knows about that. Why'd you tell him? How am I meant to develop my own moral sensibilities when yours are so 
unbelievably fuck-faced. Don't push me. Seriously, some guys borrow your bow. Oh, if I'm hanging with you, I'm listening to my music. Fuck yeah, I'm a jam. Burrow, you were hiding in the head crying kidnap. They just took receipt of your property with payment pending. Nice try. Old man despot? If it was anything other than what you told me, then that's on you. All right. They fucking stole it. And who knows what they would have done if they found me. You're a psychopath! Oh, man! There's You're driving like a psychopath, Michael! Do you realize that? Or are you so high on your own outmoded sense of masculinity that you think this is normal? Shut your pie hole. I think we'll both be happier if we can spend as little time in this vehicle as possible. God! You think I've got learning difficulties, huh? Take a good long look in the mirror, pal. No, no, I'm not the one who not. doesn't respect my fellow human beings. No, not unless they're a spick, a Jew boy, or an ass munching homo. That car is on fire! Hell. You think that's nice? Oh. Unless they were talking about this guy's car. Yeah, oh. smart to me. There was me thinking there's a difference between witty banter arising from a sense of competition witty really Look how fast he is. and mowing someone this is down the same in one the as the white one hey i never said you had learning difficulties jim well i do and you never cared i just said that dr freelander thought that maybe you had problems relating to people <laughs> relate to my asshole old man Here we are, the bike rental place. Please don't shoot the bike rental guy out of, like, force of habit. Hello there. What's going on, my dude? Yeah. Hey, you. Two hey, bikes. Nice. Take your pick. Hey, you my dude, right? Green's my color. So good. This one will do. <laughs> you like if my I car? make it to the end of the pier first, you're going to buy me a big-ass new flat screen. <laughs> end of the pier. Fine. But if you lose, you're gonna do something with your life. Hey, Pop, if you're such a health nut, you should do a triathlon or some other midlife crisis nonsense. That TV is mine. Hey, get out of my slipstream. If I wasn't catching a face full of your fumes, I'd go faster. Into the beer. Here we come. Hey, we didn't discuss how big that TV would be, did we? How's 20 inches sound? Too slow. I'd never bike with the man who marked my flat screen. All that smack talk oh, ain't gonna put me off my stride. Like you're buying your own TV. You know, this is real nice, Dad. Bonding, good times. Yeah, yeah, I'm giving it my best shot. Come on, we're having fun, right? You wouldn't know fun if it sat on your face. Ah, come on. I mean, why do I have to hold your hand through this whole midlife crisis bullshit? And why don't you stick your nose up Tracy's butt sometime? Because Tracy doesn't buy cars she can't afford so that thugs break in our house. Tracy doesn't get kidnapped or destroy my yacht. Well, that's just because she's too busy getting fucked by dudes to get on TV. You don't talk about your sister that way. Well, I'm sorry, but it's true. I mean, according to her Life Invader page, she's hanging out with producers and porno guys this afternoon. What are you talking about? Actually, it's all happening right out there. What? That boat that makes yours look like a refugee raft? You know the kind of boat. The one that makes a young impressionable girl, drop her pants, and spread her legs. This is the reason you brought me here, isn't it? You fuck. Ah! Dad, wait! Dad, don't go.
Hey, he's on the same level as Franklin now. <laughs> Thank you. Oh, so I'd be like, dang, where'd you come from? Hey, you know I was here. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Plus, we're taking you out of here. Dad, you're embarrassing me. These are my friends. Yeah, you're embarrassing her, dude. They're shooting porno oh, here. You, they shoot porno all over town. Mom rented our house to them last summer. That was what? Your house? Yeah. Man, you gotta kill her bad, man. <laughs> Isn't it awesome? Let's go. <laughs> Those walls can talk. You think I do it? Hey. No. Hey. Shit, hey, cool, Daddy. man. Hey, what are you doing? Oh, hey. Ah, oh, man. I like that. What's the problem? You're such awesome. a jerk. Come on. Dad, you dumbass. These guys are serious. Yeah, well, so am I. Talk to this team like I fucking love. Oh, motherfuckers. Get on. Now. I'm about to skin you alive. God Fair damn it. Dude. Go. OMG, they're coming! Go into that outfit! Oh, I'm going nowhere. My dad doesn't miss, so just like, F off, please! All right, yeah, y'all about right. to get it. That tunnel thing! Oh. Now y'all gonna pay for it. Now y'all gonna shoot her. It's hard to shoot her. We'll be safe in there, Michael! I'm gonna Michael. do an FPS. Everyone calls him Michael, they don't respect him at all. You heard. I said the fucking outlet. Oh. Hard to yeah. hit them. Man. Just calm down. I did what I had to do. Let me take you back to your brother. I'm an accessory to murder. No, you're not. You're an accessory to self-defense. Have sick. I like got to be a witness because I I like did some blow. You did blow. You're not admitting anything. There won't be a trial unless you're on a trial for doing blow. After you ruined my day, stole my friendship, capped them, and I'm the one on trial? They started it. And we wouldn't be in this mess if you hadn't hung out with some creepy-ass porno people and done blow. Uh, you didn't know I did blow until I told you I did blow, so this should be like an increase in trust and honesty thing. And porno dudes are like the best dudes I can be with. Porno dudes? Really? Yeah, they actually respect women and treat us right. It's Los Santos, Dad. What, what do you expect when we moved here? In the opposite. This conversation is over. Keep hiding your head in the clouds. The 50s are over. Even the 80s are over. See, that's the problem. Because they're not over in my head. Well, grow up! I see that traitor! Jimmy! Jimmy! Oh, ah! he, he's the fucking asshole, okay? He smashed my TV, and he took me to the beach. The beach, with my skin. So what, you send him out to spoil my day, too? I didn't know that he was gonna come get you. I just told him where you were. You know, he got that crazy look in his eyes, you know, like he gets sometimes, and he just went. I'm getting a cab. I'm coming with you. How about I just drive us home? You ruined my life. Bro's nipple bleeding. I can really use a vacation. Dang. Took my car too? They doing me dirty. The hell is this place? Garment factory. I needed a job that didn't require me to do anything apart from uh, paying taxes. Okay, listen. What do you got? The Holy Grail, the Union Depository. Now they say it cannot be hit. Has it been yet? I just owe some Mexican hood a couple million bucks because I wrecked his girlfriend's house. I don't need to go crazy here. Which Mexican? Martin Madrazo. He's not supposed to be very nice. Oh, when I met him, he was charming. <laughs> so what do you think? Oh, um, let's see. Either we hit a bank in the sticks or we do a store. Which do you like? Well, 
Store's usually easier. But I gotta make a big take. Oh, well, gems it is, then. Let's go to Vangelico, buy ourselves an engagement ring. Oh, we're gonna need a crew. I can round up some of the old guys. There are no old guys. Moses, uh, ironically, he found Jesus. Uh, all those Irish crazies, they mostly just disappeared. That crew from the south, they all went down. There was uh, an Eastern European guy making moves in Liberty City, but uh, he, he went quiet. Hey, we know who that is. All right. Well, we're gonna need a crew. You got any contacts in LS or not? I've been working with someone, but they're too unpredictable. I'll have to reach out to some other guys. Yeah, they probably say something like that to get rid of like fears. The jewelers is on Little Portola. Your FIB buddies, they uh, know you're back in business. FIB buddies? What are you talking about? I checked out the WPP thing. Doesn't look like any WITSEC program I'm aware of. Well, for starters, they, uh, they don't put witnesses up in multi-million dollar mansions in Rockford Hills. Now, maybe they thought this would be the best cut. Most witnesses don't transfer five-figure sums into a particular FIB agent's bank account every month. Of course, the money gets moved around and washed through a number of fronts, but the trail is there. Deposits and withdrawals, the same sum every month. Each Dave Norton, white, middle-aged divorcee, unremarkable career, except for one incident. The shooting of a notorious stick-up man, Michael Town. Yeah, 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 all right. Lester, I'm very impressed. Look, uh, we can talk about this another time. But take these glasses. My eyesight's fine. They're fitted with a camera and a radio relay. I'm gonna run the operation from the car while you're in the store getting what we need. Okay, let's get this done. That doesn't help. Go inside the store. I'm trying. It won't let me go in the door. This is this one. Fuck you, Lester. You always sit on your ass and tell shit. Hey, my you. You reading me? Mm-hmm. Okay, we need shots of the security features, the alarm system, ventilation, cameras. Sir, thank you. The alarm, the vents, and the cameras. Come on! The alarm keypad is on the left when you come in, uh, on the wall by the side door. Glasses are live, shoot away. Ah, okay, that's their alarm. Uh, can you get me an air vent in one of the cameras? So, uh, that's the cameras and the alarm, and when you've got a shot of the vents, we're done. Great, you got the security camera and the ventilation in that shot. Good work. Now speak to the assistant and see Sir, I'm sure we can help you. Tell me about her. What's her taste? Cheap. Thank God. This ain't my wife we're talking about. <laughs> I don't know. I don't want to spend too much. I'm thinking maybe... 10 grand? Our rings start at 8. Our pendants start at 12. All right. So these things built to last, or am I just paying for the Vangelico logo here? <laughs> no, 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 no. We use perfect clarity jewels. 18 karat gold, 950 platinum. Nothing but the best. All right. I think you just made a sale. I'm gonna take a look around, think about it, come back to you, baby. Don't go anywhere. I understand. Okay. Thank you, sir. You got it. Come back to me. So, we good? Almost. I need to get eyes on the roof of the building. See where the ventilation comes out. So, you keep up with the old crew? 
Well, after your death slash disappearance, there wasn't much holding us together. I saw a ladder. Climb up it and see if you can get to the roof. Yeah. You see him at all? After the incident? I kept tabs on him for a while. Needed to, uh, know that he didn't blame me. I'm on the roof! I need to know where the air coming out of those vents in Vangelico originates. There should be a unit above the store. Yeah, where'd he go? North, south, east, west, wherever there were liquor stores to turn over and hitchhikers to disappear. Where did they bury him? They buried him? Not as far as I know. Hey, I see the vents. Yeah, I'm looking at the relay. Can you get any higher? I've pulled up a satellite image. It looks like the highest point is on the northwest side. Get a shot from there. Now use it and get an image of the air system. We've got our shot of the Vangelico unit. Looks good. Okay, that'll do. Now come back to me before someone spots you up there. Will do. have their uses. Okay, let me set this up. <laughs> nice to see the methods haven't changed. Well, we gotta figure out what we're doing somehow. All the crews, the rolls, prep work. Go and leave evidence behind on a hard drive. So yeah, the uh, methods don't change. Right, not for a pro. <laughs> well, mapping out the options, uh, showing you all the angles, that's my area of professional expertise, but making decisions, that is your domain, my friend. Here. Now, there's two ways I see of doing this. We go in smart, or we go in loud and dumb. Remember the vents? If we're gonna be smart, we pump a little knockout gas through the air system, then hit the cabinets while everyone's out. You'll have to source the gas, of course, but crowd control won't stay down, and that might improve the take. The cover is pest control, so no one will look twice when you're wearing gas masks. That means getting a pest control van, though. You go in dumb, and you'll need your, uh, famous way with people and four carbine rifles. But we can't buy them and risk them getting traced. No, 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 we've got to find some in circulation. It's awkward, it's, uh, <laughs> real awkward, but this is the gun favored by L. SPD tactical team, so one of their vans is probably a good place to look. A hacker can disable the cameras. The length of time depends on their ability. The alarm will be operating on the same window. The exit strategy is more or less the same for both options. The driver you pick will, of course, source some bikes. You come out of the store and make your way through the new subway tunnel they're digging off the Del Perro freeway. You lose the cops in there and meet a truck in the LS River. All right, I want my guy Franklin on the getaway. He can handle a bike. All right, if you vouch for him, I'll take the risk. So how do you want to do this? Run into the front door or try to play it smart? If you're happy, I'll start making the arrangements. Great, uh, I'll do some research on a pest control van and the knockout gas, and I'll be in touch. Oh, yes, huh? good, good. I'll call you when everything's ready. You'll need to pitch it to the guys. Whoa, what, my rep don't count for nothing no more? You're a dead man, Michael. I'll call you. Easy mission. Come in, Michael. Uh, yeah, thanks, Doc. How have you been? Oh, good. Things been good. No, actually, things ain't been good. Things been a far fucking way from good. I've been uh, acting out. That's what you would call it, I think, right? Acting out. So what exactly has been the problem? I'm not good, Doc. 
Not good at all. I'm sorry to hear that. Tell me. I just... I'll be caught up in the bullshit, Doc. You know... Ever since I pulled this Mexican's house off a hill, it's been nothing but killing and robbing. And I hooked he, up with bro, this he's old gonna call the cops. I even <clears throat> got a new one, too. This kid. With... I don't know, he's got similar proclivities. No. Oh, God. Now everything's out of control. I mean, if it's not by choice, you know, I just... My life just got away from me. That sounds a lot like denial, Michael. This is really worrying. So, any other violent urges, friend? Things have really been up and down, Doc. I mean, one minute I'm fine, the next the fucking red mist descends. I can't seem to help myself. These are the classic symptoms of your condition, Michael. You're very ill. Hmm. I really just want to be happy, Doc. That's so bad? Okay. And what about your sexual behaviors? I've been a really good boy, Doc. Really good. Not one problem. I'm glad to hear that. Really glad. Keep working it. This is great. I just ain't myself right now, Doc. Not since my life went crazy. You're plainly addicted to chaos. Well, I'm not sure that's true, Doc. <laughs> I'm not exactly enjoying myself here. Now, what I'm addicted to is not getting killed. But for some reason, I keep getting my ass into situations where getting killed is a little hard to avoid. What about the people you kill? Well, yeah, but that's not for fun. Are you sure? What exactly are you asking, Doc? Am I a psychopath who enjoys suffering? Or a sociopath who doesn't give a flying fuck about the rules? Come on, we've already had this conversation, right? I'm neither. I'm just a fat, washed-up jock who can't get his head around the fact that his high school football career didn't play out the way that he planned. The only way I'm content and, and competent is with a gun in my hand or a price on my head. You're very defensive, Michael. Do you consider yourself a failure? I pay you to listen to my problems. I'm rich, I'm miserable. I mean, half the time my kids can't stand me, the other half my wife is cheating on me. I kill people without remorse, Doc. No, I'm pretty average for this town, really. Wait a minute, that's the shot. I, I, I think I'm having a breakthrough here, Doc. This, this, I think, no, no, I know that I'm just terrified that I'm I'm sure gonna... you are, but. That's really all we have time for. See you next time. Okay. Man, I wanted to hear what he had to say. Bro probably got scared.